Hey guys, it's Alice. So for this video, I thought I would show you how I organise my day folder and my main storage folder um, for my images. Now, I love watching these videos. I get so much inspiration, and I've always struggled with how to organise my binders because I am just really chaotic and messy. But I finally found a system that works for me, so I thought I would share with you guys. If you're doing GCSEs or A levels or whatever area of education you're in, maybe this will help you. Who knows? So I'm just going to jump straight and get started. And yeah, let's do it. So this is my day folder. I'm doing a shuffle fold a bit. Um, and this is my um like storage folder where I store all my work. This isn't exam stuff. I've got another folder, another set of folders with exam stuff in. But this is just, this one I take to college with me and this one I leave at home and I transfer work into this one when I haven't. So I've just put a label on it and then, yeah, and then the dividers are all labelled on the inside. My mum made me some really nice labels. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to start with my day folder. These are both from W.A. Smith. This is a um, roll bound lever art trail. And this one that I take to college with me. Is a 25 mil millimeter teal wheel bound ring binder. Um, it's both from W H Smith, and yeah, I love the color that the colors match. I want to get another one of these for my exam stuff, but yeah, I'm going to jump straight in with this one. One thing I like about these folders is they've got the elastic closure, so I could fit quite a lot in here. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I have is my folder. I have a cover page. Um, and yeah, um, I'm trying not to show you too much of the information on the front, but yeah, um, just to start with my name, my tutor, my study, and things like that. Um, yeah, I have my ter my term date, so I, this is the term we're on at the moment, and then I have a sub. I have this that I got a print out online, um, and it's I'm gonna put my I'm going to put the one for all term, all term, and then I'm going to put all of the topics that I've done in this term, and and then mark them as necessary. And then I have my student handbook. Um, again, I'm just trying to keep something private. And yeah, and then I have my. Readiness to like my work policy, even though I'm doing online classes, and then my independent learning and reviewing tips because this is I'm doing a lot of independent learning, so yeah. Then I have this section which is grade boundaries and specification. So I have the at a glance specification, um, just in the front, and I always keep that. And then I have the Grey boundaries. I don't know if these are still in date, but I just kept them in here um, and highlighted the ones that are relevant to me. And then I found this online that I just printed it out because I thought it was useful. Then I have any key information. So I'm like assessment objective, through freedom checklist. I use this every every piece of work that I do, pretty much. And and then I have notes, and in here it's split in. Oh, hang on, that's what I was going to show you. I have written out all my week, all my notes. So this is what I did in week one, week two, week three, week four, and week five. And then, obviously, and then I just have a printed copy as well. That's a bit neater. So once I, as I, I've got this on my um, Google Docs. So. So yeah, sorry about, sorry about that, my phone just stopped recording for me. So I have a printed copy of all the work, so this is just going to be for the autumn time, and then I'll do another one for springtime, and then another summer time. Then you can see I've got two dividers, one for written notes, and one for tighten notes. So in the first section is all of my written notes, and I use post-it notes to colour code everything, so this is all my week four work, and it's got a little tab on it. On it so this is all the work i've done for week four and then this is the work for week five and um, i haven't put a tab on this one yet which i will do um so this is all the work i've done for week five 
and then in this next section is type note with the type notes. So this is the same thing as in the um as in the written section, but it's typed up notes. This is what I end up submitting to my teacher for marking. And this is for week five. Again, we've got posting my clients so I know. Then when the next term comes around, I'll change the colour of the posting note. The next section is handouts. This is all the worksheets that we use. So this is for week four. And then what I will do as well is I will, any worksheets and PowerPoints, I will date the, the week beginning. So this one was the week beginning the 16th. So this is when I printed this out. So this is for week five. And this is for week five. And then it goes into the PowerPoint presentations that we use. Again, I date them with the week, the Monday that this is was. So I have this one, and then this one for week four. And then I have part one and part two for week five. This is the presentation we needed for part one, and this is the presentation we needed for part two. And then I have this section which is useful information, so it's stuff that will help me write down. So I have a, great, a paper on question five, like great answer that I can put it from a website that I would at the TGP website. If you have the English literature textbook, you can print it out. Uh, English language, sorry. So this is for that, and then I have a paper two, question five, and then I have deep cheek. Um, I got them in camera, but yeah, they're quite big, so I have to fold them in half. Um, so I have one for exam basics, and it just goes through all of the exam basics. I have one for language and structure, which is something I struggle with. And then I have one for writing, so this is for the writing papers. And then I have a glossary. And then I have this little booklet that I put together from booklets that my teacher gave me. And then in the back, I always keep a plastic roll because if I forget my whole punch and I've got a whole lot to put them in. And then I have one for my. Um, support the work if I do any work with my support teacher I can slip it in here or if I can print out anything for college from college or do any work for my um adult education coaching thing that my college do. So yeah these I got from Amazon as well. Um they came in huge pack. And in here I've got a glossary that I wrote up all my flashcards. Um and I've got my success coaching work in there as well which i'm gonna hold punch and put in here because it's kind of relevant to my English stuff so yeah that is everything that is in this folder and i'm now going to show you my book of my other folder which is basically the same as this one but yeah this is set up basically the same um but if this is just a libra one um um yeah i really like WH folders because they're just really easy to fill and again this is um set up the same as I set up this one just for easy convenience for me. So in the first section I have the full specification um in here. So I have the whole specification. And then in this particular information section, I have um, an extended glossary, some other bits like some mis commonly misspelled words, another um, glossary, and then again, I have a note section, I have a written, co written copy of notes, so I have week one, all of my week one work, week two, week three, week three so yeah and then again type notes so i have week one so this is all my week one work and week two so i have all of my week two work and week three i will be putting week four and week five in here as well and then again i have all of my handouts week one 
week two, and week three, I think that's week three, three, yeah, week three, and then the then PowerPoints for week one, week two, and week three, again, all dated, and then in YouTube's most protection, I have this sheet that I got given last year and I just kept because it was really useful. Some stuff I found online and stuff like that. So again, it's very, very they're very organised so it's easy for me to transfer stuff out. I just roll it out and pop it in here and vice versa. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy that video. Um, I don't have the most complex setup or anything. It's just what works for me, what makes my life easier. And yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you soon. Bye.